So I ordered this really cool thing in the mail, the small rig dual suction cup for my car. It comes with these little plastic things on the bottom, you know, to, I guess, keep it from getting too dirty or anything like that if you're just having it sit. But it's one of those things that it's gonna work great if you have a DJI Action, a GoPro, or the Osmos Pocket. I've seen a lot of people using it for the Pocket. So I saw it and wanted to try it because I thought maybe for these kind of videos, some of the vlogs and stuff, I wanna do some time lapses so I can just sit it on the hood of my car or inside on the dash. But I just figured we'd do a quick review of it, have the Action 4 on there, I'll attach it, and we'll just take a ride around and just uh, see how well it works. So take it apart quick, right? There's this little latch down here, comes undone, ties it. So if you need to take it off and just you just wanna use this arm, you can absolutely do that without having to use these suction cups. And you can see there's an area right here, which that's a quarter inch thread. So you can use that and still have it attached right here. You can see how it closes, opens just a little bit. And this part, you can just swing this and this whole thing, right, adjusts with this, right? So if you need to adjust the bottom, you're gonna have to do this. Or if you need to adjust the top, you're gonna have to undo this as well, right? To make that whole thing move. So it's all combined through here. And you, you'll know when it's not, because if you tighten it, you can't just move this ball head or this ball head. But it also has this quarter inch screw thread here. And if you're me and you use something like this cage, it's easy to just have it right here at the bottom and you just screw it right in to make it easier for you, right? Obviously you don't have to have it. You can have the setup any way you want, but all you do is attach this right here, screw this back on, and you can see right there, we're good to go. Here's the suction cup areas, right? You just pop those open. And all we're gonna do is stick it right here on the car, close, and there we go. So now let's drive with it and see see how things, how things go. I'll mention the miles per hour when I get up there. You know, I've got the window open so you can see through better. So just keep that in mind is like when you're driving, you might have to have it open if you wanna do something like this. But if you're gonna throw it on the side of your car, on the hood or something like that, you won't have to worry about it. But I'm going 50 miles an hour right now and let's see how it looks. And then we're gonna stop, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hard brake this a little bit just so we get a little something. A little shift. So let's make this turn and let's see how fast we can go and see if we notice any movement. So we're up to 50 miles an hour. And I'm gonna push it to 60 just to see. And then we're gonna slow down a little bit. So, so far so good. I don't really notice too much. And the one thing I will say is if you have the window open, you're gonna get all that noise from the wind. But it is nice if you wanna do this so you don't get that glare trying to push through the window. I'm gonna pull into a parking lot now. We're gonna do a turn and just see how that goes. Obviously turns and things like that don't make that big of a difference, but it is nice to just have that tested and covered, you know? And I'm in a parking lot now, so I'm gonna hit the brakes a few times just to get a quick stop and we'll just see how it shifts. All right, full we'll stop. stop again and now what we're gonna do is something fun right we're just gonna attach it back to the car like yank it a little bit to make sure but we're gonna turn this and we're gonna do something like this and now we're gonna just drive it so you can get that cool that cool wheel thing right obviously my car doesn't have the cool rims or anything like that so you're not gonna have that but if you want to do something like that you can absolutely do it like throw your time lapse there the one thing I will mention is if you're like me and you're like using the DJI mics, be careful because maybe if you hit a bump or something's uneven on the road, whatever it might be, if you're using the receiver to plug directly into the camera, that could come loose, right? And then you could lose your DJI mic and still have your Action 4. So keep that in mind, but you can get these cool wheel shots with it. So let's do the front of the car and see what that's like now. So now you can see us driving and using it. 
right? And it's pointed down. So if your hood's more sloped for like how smaller cars are versus like a truck or something like that, where some of the hoods are a little more flat, just keep this in mind. It's just gonna depend on where you position it on your car. Because right now I have it towards the front of the car, so it's pushing down a little more. So now what I'm doing is I just have it on the, the dash, right? So I can show you all that quick, right? So I have it set up in a very good way if you wanna do something like this, right? So I have it right here, right? Cause it's on the window. Obviously you can put it wherever you want. Majority of the time I will probably end up having something like that or on the dash, but you can just throw it back on there and screw it back on. That's why using a DJI or something like that, it's gonna work really good. It's gonna be very nice. Obviously your camera is gonna be upside down, but you can either fix it in post or a lot of these automatically do that for you. So it's nothing to worry about. And you just post the ball head and you can get it fixed so it's positioned right. And what's cool is that if like, you have somebody riding with you and you wanna do a video with them, you can set it you know, in the center of your car and have both of y'all talking, right? If you wanna do like a cars and coffee or whatever, you know, driving around just talking kind of thing. So this would be a really cool setup for that. Obviously you can put it on your windows, anything like that. So it's gonna work for a lot of different things. And the cool thing is like, obviously if you're doing like kayaking, if you're going on a cruise, right? A cruise would be a good thing to use this for as well, because you can have it on the windows, you can do a time lapse of the boat moving. There's plenty of different ways you can use something like this. Something like this is just nice to have for whatever your different ideas are gonna be. Something like this would be very cool for like in your house if you wanna get a different angle and you wanna have it like tilted down at you and you're looking up at the camera or anything like that. You know, you see people do that all the time. Something like this would help with that versus having to have all this different stuff because you can easily just put it on a door or use whatever or you unattach it from the suction cups and use that little mount and have it twisted onto something that way and you can just use this little ball head area would I use this for a mirrorless camera or a DSLR? Probably not. I'd probably go up one and get the ones that are like three suction cups to throw it on the outside, or I'd use like an older mirrorless that I, you know, is my second or third camera, something like that. Or if I really want to do it, I would 100% use a prime, right? Or a very light, light lens, right? Maybe like a 20 to 40 or you know, an 18 prime, you know, something like a 1.8 or something like that, one of the lighter ones, I would consider it. But something like this, I would have a hard time doing. If I had it in my car, if I'm sitting on the dash, right, and I'm doing something like that, 100% try it. Because if your camera falls, it might get messed up, but the fall is not that significant as it would be if you were driving and that thing hits concrete, right? So keep that in mind. It says it's graded for it but it's really gonna come down to your choice. Sure, they tested it and it was fine, but me, I would err on the side of caution and I'd just pay the extra money and get the one with three suction cups versus two.